So my role today was to get the conference started, to inject a bit of energy, a bit of enthusiasm into the conference, and just to move the children around so that I, I was really clear that I didn't want them to be sitting in their schools, but to be working together across the schools and to embrace the values of the trust around collaboration uh, and working together effectively. And I'd like to think that they started talking about leadership just in, in its introductory capacity, just to make them think about what was coming today, but more importantly, for them to, to realise that they actually already know what leadership is, so that when they hear the guest speakers and, and the keynote speakers talk about their experiences, they have some confidence that they actually understand what leadership is. If we don't have priorities, then how are you going to like have like goals and such for the future? You need motivation for your staff so they can do all their jobs. My name is Mike Evans, I'm Detective Chief Superintendent at Cheshire Police. Uh, I would really hope that they realise that um, leadership isn't about authority and actually that um, we can all be leaders across our own peer groups or networks. Everybody's got leadership attributes. Um, it's about finding them and channeling them. So if you want to do something, go for it. Give it your best shot um, and you will quickly find that um, other people will respect that and will support you in it. The more support you get, like the more you look forward to doing things and the more you feel like you have to do better and stuff because that there's, a, that, there's that support there. I work in human resources and a lot of people I know don't really know what that is so I really wanted to focus on and explain what HR is and what it could be to be have a career in HR and how all the skills that you use in HR really do link in with leadership. I wanted our pupils to, to be able to understand what human resources is, um, whether they'd be interested in it as a career and actually to, to get out of it that you don't need to be highly academic to progress and become a leader. It's an absolute honour and pleasure as a former teacher of the Dean Trust and head of IT and now a leader at the University Academy 92 to share my experiences and journey with the students who are all aspiring to be leaders of the future. And you know what, as a former educator and a leader, it's my role and my duty to support these young people to be the best version of themselves and to be the most inspiring individuals to take this country, their lives, their roles, their careers to whole new heights. So today has been our first event uh, for the Believe Learning Institute. We've hosted a pupil leadership event here at UA92 with the aim of developing our, all of our pupils and their leadership skills. It's been an amazing day. It's been great to see all of our schools come together from across the Northwest to explore their potential so that they become leaders of the future.